Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together. You know it's all because. Good morning, everyone. It's Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Just wanted to jump on and do a bit of live crafting with you this morning on Facebook. And I just want to show you what I've been up to on the weekend. I got very, very inky on the weekend. I had a great time. I've got a brand new video that will be going live tomorrow or over on my YouTube channel using the ready form technique. So the ready form technique is fantastic. It is a way of using your stamp sets in a different way. So these are some of the cards that I've done using the ready form technique. So if you want to get details on how to actually do this, and this was a bit of a twist on my ready form technique. Um, if you want to find out actually how to do this technique, you need to jump over to my YouTube channel and check it out tomorrow. So that will be going live tomorrow on my channel. So I wanted to share with you, we have this gorgeous brand new catalog. This will be going live to the public on June the 3rd. Now it is going live to us tomorrow. We can actually order us as demonstrators. We can actually order out of this catalog. So the awesome thing that I wanted to tell you is if you've been on the fence about joining Stampin' Up, if you've been on the fence about getting a 20% discount. I am telling you that tomorrow is the day to sign up. You will be able to order things out of this brand new catalog. We will have an ordering list that we're allowed to order. There'll be selected items out of this catalog that we're allowed to order tomorrow. And I am telling you that you are going to want to join my Wild Heart Crafters team because this catalog is simply stunning. So if you have any questions, you get to choose $235 worth of product. You only have to pay $169. The, the products out of this catalog, as well as our last chance products at the moment that are massively reduced as well, you will find that, um, you will be able to um, put any of those things into your into your starter kit. And you get to choose $235 worth of product and only pay $169. You do not have to sell. You do not have to recruit. You do not have to run it as a business. You can join wholly and solely just to get a discount off your crafting products. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, message me um, and let me know. And I would be happy to help you out in that respect. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, yes, Glenda, you do automatically get a catalog sent to you. Glenda is part of my Wild Heart Crafters team and she absolutely loves being a part of Stamping Up. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Rita, Sue, Geraldine, um, Kerry, Susan, Laurie, um, Matthew. I think I seen Matthew there. Yes, Sonia. Um, Joanne, Kathy, welcome everybody. So what I decided to do today was over the moon is actually on the retiring list. So if you are absolutely in love with this cute stamp set and it's been on your wish list, my suggestion is get it now while it lasts because these items are our last chance products and they will be available only until stocks are there. Once the stock runs out, if it happens before the 2nd of June, they will be gone. And quite a lot of things are already gone off our retiring list already. So what I wanted to do was case this cute little card up here in the corner that um, is super, super cute. So I've got everything I think out ready to go and we will get to crafting. All right. So I'm just going to leave that catalog there over to the left so I can see what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. So I have, um, I have a, um, sorry, I'm getting a message here on my phone that keeps dinging unless I press on it. Okay. So I've got a piece of crumb cake card base here. Now this crumb cake card base is cut at, hello Karen, hey Judy, how are you? Hey Sharon, Pam. Um, this card base is cut at um, four inches this way by 11 and a half inches this way and I'm going to fold it in half. Now you don't often see me do cards like this but this is how it is in the catalog. It's a top fold card like this. So it's actually going to open up that way. Okay, so it is a little bit different to what I normally do. Hey, Marion, how are you? Thanks for joining. All right, so 
I have a piece for the insert and I also have a piece of Whisper White for that front where we're going to stamp the cute little cows. So I'm just going to grab the cows that I need. So I need this super cute one holding a flower. I think it's the cutest one out of the whole lot of the cows. I really do. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one here. Okay, and see, I haven't even used this one. I haven't even got this, the sticker on the back, but I will do that so that I can see where I'm stamping so I get it right. But it's a super, super cute stamp set. So as I said, it's on the last chance product list right now. So if you don't have your hands on it, my suggestion is to order it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Thank you very much. Feel free to share my video on your Facebook page, on your Facebook profile, and that helps me reach more people. So thank you to everyone that has already shared. All right. So we've got our cows. Now, you know me as far as stamping with black ink. I just don't like to stamp with black ink. So um, I'm going to stamp my cute little cows with um, some early espresso is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, first of all, I'm actually going to do a little bit of sponging. So I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper and we're going to sponge a bit of the grass and a bit of the sky. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to sponge the grass, that's it. And then I'm going to do the sky later because I want to do the sky. I actually think I might do the sky with some blends, actually, to tell you the truth. And that's not one that I need to use. This one looks like it could have green in it. Okay, all good. So I'm just going to grab my granny apple green. You had to go at my bubble technique yesterday. I've got another bubble technique that I'm going to be doing using a bubble blower. Um, so that's going to be some fun that I'm going to have too in the next few days. It's probably going to be my Thursday technique, I would say, at this stage. Okay, so we've got some grass for the cows to stand on. That's what we needed. And also, oh no, it has, yes, it does have. We're going to stamp a few of the little grass um, stamps around as well. And I haven't got that mounted up on my sticker either. So, um, as I said, these last chance products are a super good buy and you can actually add them to a starter kit, which is fantastic. So you get even more for your money when you add them to a starter kit as well. So I'm just gonna leave my grass there ready to go. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is stamp my cows. So I'm going to use Early Espresso to stamp my cows. Hey, Catherine, how are you, Cass? How are you going? How's things in Brisbane treating you up there? All right, so I've got this cute little one and she's gonna stand, well, I think it's a she, could actually be a he, standing there holding those that flower. So we've got one cow there and I'm going to stamp my other cow just here. Okay. And we also need, um, oh, it's got some clouds there. Well, they've used the speech bubble as a cloud. Can I do that? Can I use this speech bubble as a cloud? I'm going to go like that and I'm going to use my early espresso stamp and write marker and I'm just going to go like this with my stamp and write marker. So this is how I'm going to get the cloud to happen up in the sky. You huff on it and then I'm going to stamp one cloud there. Oh look at that and I did get that little bit that I don't really need. I'm going to, this time I'm actually Going to go again, gonna wipe that off. I don't want that to stamp. I might fill that in with my marker myself. Okay. And there, look at that. And then I'm just going to fill in that little gap. 
just like, oh, just like that. No one would ever know. All right, so there we have some cute little clouds. We have our cows. And then I'm going to bring in our blends. And I'm going to um, colour with my crumb cake and my light crumb cake, so dark and light. Okay, so I'm going to go over this cow here with my light to start off with. So we're going to colour in this cute little cow. Now you'll see that I am using the bullet tip and the reason that I'm using the bullet tip is I am in more control when I use the bullet tip than the brush, but it is personal preference. Whatever you prefer to do is totally up to you. I just feel like I'm in more control when I use that bullet tip end. And because of the blends, it doesn't matter because you don't see any of our, any of our um, coloring lines because it just blends and disperses out onto that paper. And we don't see any stroke marks or anything like that. So it's totally okay. All right. So we've got the light done. And I'm just looking up around here. So bear with me while I colour. I've gone quiet now that I'm colouring. <laughs> it's the concentration level. Hello, Kylie. Hello, Julianne. Hello, Rosalind and Chris. Thank you, everyone, for joining. A bit of an early morning crafting session. I've got my washing on in the washing machine. I've got, um, I've got my youngest daughter has gone for a walk. And I thought I will jump on now and do a little bit of crafting. So just with the dark, I'm just going to go in a little bit on the sides of his face there. And we're going to a little bit here on his shoulder or her shoulder, male or female. I don't really know what we've got here, whether it is male or female. It can be whatever. Okay. And then just down through there. I'm just going off what the picture has there. And then I'm going to go back through with my light brush tip end this time. And I'm just going to blend that in. And all you're doing is actually blending where that dark meets the light. I'm going to go back through my, with my bullet tip. Where the dark meets the light, you're just blending that, that line. So it blends in with the rest. Okay, it's looking super cute. All right, now they've done the other cow, they've done um, with the light. He's looking a little bit different to the other one. So light around here. And there, and then I'm actually going to use the color lifter to blend that out a little bit. I think I'm going to color all with the light, but then use the color lifter to lift a bit of the color out. And I'm going to do those spots like that with the light. That's easy colouring. All right. And don't forget the little tail. And the tail over here. All right. So then I'm going to grab my colour lifter and I'm going to go through with my colour lifter in all these areas just to lift a bit of colour out of there. And I actually have a new colour lifter and I think I'm probably going to have to use the new one. I would say this one's just about out. So the colour lifter lifts that colour and makes a lighter version of the colour. So you can, um, you can see a little bit of difference in the colouring. 
I'm going to use my new one because that one feels like it's totally out. And I bought myself a new one so that I could be able to do this. You can see it lifting already. So don't, don't be too worried about how much you do in there and going over it too much because you'll see it will happen over time. So I'll just leave that there like that. And we'll see. You, can you see it lifting? I know it's probably hard. Um, evening is winding down there, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I need to do his face. Same thing with his face. We'll color all over and then use the color lifter just to add a little bit of lightness through that near his eyes there and then color lifter you can i i definitely needed to use my new one you can see with this new one you can see it works so much better all right and then with their hair i'm going to use my um dark soft suede and color their hair get a bit of color happening there in the hair It's so relaxing coloring like this. It's so much fun. Okay, granny apple green. I think we will do the leaves in of the flower. And I think I'm going to do, what have I got here? Pineapple punch, I think. Dark pineapple punch. I'm gonna do the center of the flower, dark pineapple punch. And then I'm going to use our um, lovely lipstick, dark, lovely lipstick for the flower. I'm going to use the bullet tip end so I can color that properly. Now, remember with your blends not to go too far out towards your um, lined image. Just stop a little bit just before that lined image because it will move on your cardstock, this ink. It's alcohol-based ink and it will definitely move on your cardstock. So don't go too close out or you will have the chance of it bleeding outside your lined image and you don't want that to happen. And you also don't want it to be bleeding into that center pineapple punch piece either. Okay. The one with the flowers is a he, as he has horns. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of a lesson here. Okay, so the one with the flower, well, I actually, I assumed it probably would be a he for the simple fact that um, he's trying to give this one a flower. Okay. All right, so that's looking pretty nice. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use um, if I can find it, my light pool party and my dark pool party. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, dark pool party up the top with my blends, just to add a little bit of dark color through that sky. You may look at this in a little while and think, oh my Lord, what has she done with those markers? But I can tell you when you go over it with the color lifter, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so we're just going to do that. And then with the light pool party, I'm going to go through with the light everywhere else and color in to add a bit of sky. Gonna go over that dark as well, just to blend it. And don't be scared to do this. I use Pool Party just to make a colored image pop off the page. So doing this for the sky in and around is fine because it will um, really, really make those colored images pop off the page. I think my light Pool Party is just about out too. I might have to do an order for that. I use it so often to go around images.
But are you seeing here how you can see that it's, um, it's giving us that gorgeous sky. And then once I go over it with my color lifter, it will just blend it a little bit more. Okay, so hopefully, is this my new color lifter? Oh, I don't think it is. I think that one is. All right, so I'm just gonna go back over with the color lifter now and that will just blend it and make it look like it should be there. It just helps blend those colors as well, the color lifter. But you can see I'm not being too particular in how I color. But it's looking super, super cute. It does make the cows pop, doesn't it, Matthew? So, so true. And I just put ink all over my hand, but that's okay. Yesterday I was so inky doing this bubble blowing technique. So um, I will be excited. I think I'll be bringing that one to you on Thursday this week. So the ready form that I just showed you at the beginning, if you didn't see it at the beginning, go back to the beginning of the video and rewatch it. The ready form I will be doing, it will be uploaded tomorrow. So I'm rounding this, this is with our trio punch. And I think the trio punch is going through our, to our new catalog. So I'm gonna round all those corners. So we have a corner rounder, we have a ribbon hole, and we also have a decorative corner. So this punch is an awesome punch to, to grab. I use it quite a bit. All right. So we've got our colouring done, we've got our cows all coloured and beautiful. So now let's get rid of some of these blends out of the way and let's get into organising this gorgeous card. All right, so you'll see this piece here. Now this piece here I've done with our um, So Saffron is the colour and it is a gorgeous colour and I've ran it through the corrugated iron um, embossing folder and I'm nearly sure the corrugated iron embossing folder has sold out. It's a 3D embossing folder and you can see it gives you that corrugated iron look. I'll just hold that up a little bit closer so you can see. It gives great texture and it reminds you a little bit about the corrugated iron on farms. So, um, and I've actually got it, it's probably a little bit long, so I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer. Now the reason it is probably a little bit long for the simple fact that I wanted to run it through the corrugated iron embossing folder first for the simple fact that when you run it through the embossing folder, it shortens your cardstock. So um, you need to make sure that you get the right length. Okay, and I think I'm going to do it at um, three and three quarter inches, I think, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna trim that off there. And that's gonna look, yep, exactly how we want it to be. And then this one here is going to be popped on it like so. And then you'll see in the picture here, you will see it's got some, uh, a little bit of ribbon. I don't know whether you can see that there in the picture, but a little tiny bit of ribbon here and a little tiny bit of ribbon there. And that is actually the ribbon that comes from the Magnolia Lane Combo Ribbon. So I've got some of that. It comes with um, the like green twine as well. So, um, and this ribbon is getting discontinued. So if you haven't got this ribbon, um, if it's not gone already, it could be a good idea to get your hands on some of this ribbon as well. All right, so I'm just going to cut a couple of strips of this ribbon to go underneath like that. All right, I need to cut them straight. Okay, so that's a bit better. All right, so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna adhere this one down directly onto the front of my card. Hey Fran, how are you? Thank you for joining. Now, use a fair bit of glue when you've got an embossed layer like this because you need it on the ridges and you need it to be able to soak in to make it sit really nicely on your card. They've got that actually straight 
on their card. So I'm going to go like that. And if there's any overhang, I will trim that off. So we've got that there. And they've also stamped your Udly Fantastic. <clears throat> so I'll grab that onto a block. Um, one there. And we'll do that in our Early Espresso. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for joining. Oops. Early Espresso everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got this up the right way, and I have. And they've stamped that just down here. So you're utterly fantastic. All right. And then I'm going to pop this one up onto dimensionals. So that we get a bit of 3D happening there. Okay, and I do have an ordering special this month that if you order anything over a hundred dollars, you will get a free kit. Now, let me see if I can find those cards. Yes, here, yeah. no, where are those cards? Here, okay. So, if you order a hundred dollars during May you will get a card kit to make these gorgeous cards. So Rose and I have this as our special, Rose Ward from Stampers Delight. So if you're from America, the US, you can get this kit from Rose if you spend um, $75, I think it is, with Rose over there. So we've got this card here that was designed by Rose. We've got this one here, which was designed by me. We've got this one here that was designed by me and this one here that was designed by Rose. And they're all using the Positive Thoughts stamp set. We will cut all the framelets. The framelets will be available in the brand new catalog. So um, if you're worried about buying the stamp set now um, and not having the framelets, the framelets will be available in the new catalog. So anyone that orders over $100 with me during the month of May will get that kit absolutely free okay but you must use my monthly host code and at the moment i don't have that up on my page there is a new monthly host code so if you don't know the monthly host code please ask me i would be happy to send you that information all right so before i put this one on i want to know where this ribbon is going to sit because we're going to have to have that poking out from underneath so i'm actually going to with um, some glue dots, I'm going to glue down this ribbon. It is a pretty kit, Matthew. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Okay, so I'm going to glue that one coming out down through there. And the other one is up through the top. So we've got that going that way and the other one's up through the top. So we're going to pop that into some glue dots. Like so, and I'm just going to see where that's going to sit. I want that to just run up along there. But just there like that. And then we're going to pop this here like that. You are utterly fantastic. All right. So then I'm just going to, for the insert, oh, and I didn't stamp my little green grass. Do you think I'm going to be able to do that? You think I'm going to be able to do that now that I've got it stuck on? Surely I can. Oh, look at that. I can carefully do it. Who says you can't stamp after you've stuck your layer on? <laughs> so, so super cute. All right. And then for the insert, I'm just going to stamp one of my cows just partly off the page here. So I'm going to ink that up with my early espresso and I'm just going to stamp him there like that. Like he's peeking around the corner. Good morning, Margaret. How are you? Thank you for joining. So please feel free. If you're watching this now, please feel free to share onto your Facebook page. Um, if you're watching it back later on, you're watching the recording or you're watching on YouTube. If I've uploaded this to YouTube, please feel free to share back onto your social media sites so that um, it gets my crafting out to more people. All right, 
So we're gonna go back through again with our, um, this is, ah, oh, this is my dark. Anyway, we'll do him like this. Oh, sorry, it's her. This is the her. <laughs> okay, and we'll go back through with our light. I thought I had my light, but I had my dark in my hand, but that's okay. We can do this. We'll go through with our light. It's super fun coloring this cute, cute cow in. Super cute. Unfortunately, our, um, our, this little piggy stamp set has gone. I know that there was a few people that were a little bit upset about the list, this little piggy going. Oh, I don't think I colored in the cow's hooves either on the other one. And some hair. Can you tell I'm not a farmer? That I don't know whether it's a male cow or a female cow. <laughs> I'm showing my city liquor style there. We better color those in on the front because we can't have those not colored in. We need the hooves colored in. Please tell me they're called cow hooves. Please tell me I'm not saying the wrong word. There. Okay. And then I'm just going to, with my sponge, is that the one that I used? Maybe not. Is that the one I used? And there's a little bit of green in there. Look at that. It's actually not the sponge that I use, but it's okay. I'm just winging it. Yeah, I know it has udders, so it's a girl cow. I, I know. I just didn't look, Matthew. <laughs> I wasn't that observant at this early hour in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. All right, so we have that. So there is the super cute over the moon card made with our over the moon stamp set which as i said is on the retiring list right now so if you haven't um ordered the over the moon stamp set and you think it might be on your list of things that you want to get my suggestion is things are selling out quick so the idea would be um to try and order jump on and order as soon as you can and once again i'll bring in those cards that um I will show you that there will be a video over on my YouTube channel um, and this is called the ready form technique. So um, I'm doing some fun things over there. So you'll see the video tomorrow morning if you want to find out how to do that technique. I'm doing a technique video every Tuesday and every Thursday over on my YouTube channel. So please feel free to jump on over there to check it out. And once again, anyone that would like a brand new annual catalog. I will be ordering my catalogs tomorrow. And when um, the catalogs come in, I will be posting them out. So if you're already a customer of mine, you will be getting a catalog automatically if you've ordered in the last six months with me. Um, if you're not a customer of mine and you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to send you a complimentary catalog. So please um, check out on my business page. You'll see the sign up. Um, just click the link and sign up to get onto my catalog list. Only the people that sign up to the catalog list will I be sending the catalogs out to other than the people that have ordered from me for the last six months. So if you are not on my list, you'll be missing out on this beautiful brand new catalog. And we are able to, as I said, order out of this tomorrow. So if you are thinking about joining Stampin' Up! tomorrow is going to definitely be the day. And if you um, would like to ask me some questions, please feel free to give me a call on 0421725015. I would be happy to answer any questions. So that phone number again is 0421725015. I would love to answer some questions. So thank you everybody for spending a little bit of time with me today. Um, and... Hopefully I have inspired you to get into your craft rooms and until next time, 
happy crafting everybody and have a wonderful day and I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now. more than stamps and ink it's more than just a card you see it's part of you a part of me it's creative